I had this moment yesterday doing the team presentation when we were walking up there and we're in this crazy kit. It's like a collaboration with Hellas, like a skateboard brand. So our next uh, squad up will be the EF Pro Cycling team. What about that? But we're at the Giro. And like I'm coming off the back of a, an ultra race like through the desert three weeks ago. I never would have thought this would happen. Never in a million years. So that's inspiring in a way, because it shows that there's, there's change. Even two years ago, I think people would have laughed us off the podium in that kit. But people start to get it. I started to take notice of cycling because of that. And that's the whole point. We've been here two days, I'm already pretty f <laughs> well, cycling, it's very conservative and, and, uh, and boring at times. Yeah, a very long history and, and a lot of traditions and things that you, you can't do. Old sports directors saying you can't grow a beard or you can't have a earring or tattoos is, uh, is ugly and you can't have long hair, all this blah blah blah, you know. And then here we are, you know. EF just rocking up in, uh, in first, you know, pink. What the hell, you know? Everybody was shocked. Now this new collaboration with Palace, and I saw a lot of the reactions uh, at the team presentations. You know, some of the old old guys in cycling. They were like, "What is this?" Oh my god! <laughs> Cycling's a very traditional sport and like within that then there's the Giro which is like you know it's like the old school Grand Tour. We're going, up, like, walk, 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 walk. We're going against the tradition of cycling in a lot of ways. I can understand how even me being at this race a lot of people would sort of question maybe even the team's decision to put me in. I try not to think about it to be honest um, because I know like for some people I'm just a joke. <laughs> and like, that's fine. Well, that's the first COVID test done, day one. Straight up the old both sides. But test results in 20 minutes, fingers crossed. There's a lot of racing to be done. And um, I'm just having a little through now and uh, this is going to be quite a difficult race. <laughs> plenty of climbs, plenty of kilometers, um, but I mean I'm looking forward to it. But I'm going to say right now I'm feeling a little daunted, which is good. Good night. See you tonight. So my role is uh, being a, a second DS, which means Fabricio is first boss director. I'm in the second car. Simon, just remember Peter Sagan, he's desperate. Yeah. My role is, is also to uh, taking care of the whole circus. I, I felt my boobs. <laughs> 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 so, James Whelan, Jimmy Boy, is a debutant. First time doing a, a Grand Tour. One, two, three, four. Uh, what was the question again? Yeah, I mean, for me, it wasn't so long ago that I was just watching cycling on TV, not even as a cyclist. But yeah, it all still feels, feels like a bit of a dream still. Next up, Sean Bennett. Uh, he did the Giro last year and he uh, really progressed a lot. Then we have Tunnel Gangert. Uh, he's our GC contender. I mean, no one recognizes him. 20-year-old oh, sensation from Estonia. Uh, Simon Clark, he has a lot of um, experience on the road. He's done a Grand Tour, I don't know how many times. Jonathan Caicedo, yeah, definitely really, really exciting rider and we expect a lot from him. I'm excited to see him in, in the mountains. I'm saying I'm not a gay though. 
<laughs> he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. photo with the gear dog. Black and Morton, he's just a cool cat, spreading some good vibes, uh, always positive. Yo. No, I don't. Bull <laughs> It's like, I haven't been talking that long, have I? I don't really read the daily plans properly, so that could have been true. <laughs> The time trial plans are confusing, man. Ruben Guerrero, a Portuguese bullfighter. When he jumped on his bike and he, he put his number on his back, he's, he's like a different person. I think definitely it's possible for him to win a stage here. Yeah, I forgot where I was. Anyway, time trial's going to be good. No, I'm sorry, you have to start in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> really? Hey! <laughs> Who else? Did I miss anyone? Yeah, I mean, I have to tell you, this this team feels feels really special, and it, it hasn't always felt like that. Uh, this is now like my sixth year on the team, and you know, it's the environment that we have is is I think everything about this team that that works. And I've said it like before that this is probably the only World Tour team I could ride for because of the way the atmosphere is. We all just appreciate each other for who who we are. You don't have to put up this front when you come to a race and pretend you're someone else. It's a very unique um, team to be involved with in that regard. I was really worried I was going to come last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. I started warming up and I was just like, oh, f I feel like a <laughs> What you see on TV is five or six hours of the day, and the rest of it is hotel rooms and buses and dining rooms, you know? And that's Grand Tour Racing. <laughs> so basically you wake up, breakfast, pack your suitcase, put it outside your door. After breakfast, get on the bus, drive to the start, and then we get changed, have a pretty in-depth race meeting. Then we go to sign in, get the race food, put your race radio on. Then you race. Sometimes it goes by really quickly. And you feel like you've been gone for just a couple of hours. Sometimes you feel like by the time you get back to the bus at the end, it's like, it feels like two years have passed, you know? Oh, boy. The second you cross the finish line, one of the swan years is there. They tell you where the bus is. Get on the bus, like a recovery drink, shower, eat some rice or pasta, get to the hotel. The other swan years have gone ahead and checked you in. Then you have a massage and then the daily plan for the next day is sent out and they'll tell you when dinner is and you go have dinner. And then usually after dinner we play Gamma Una. Then usually I'll go back to our room, call Rachel for 15 minutes and then it's time to go to sleep. <laughs> and then you wake up and it's like, <laughs> and then you do it again. How much has yeah. this young man got left in the tank? This could be the most glorious day of this young man's career. You want to attack full gas, full gas, a block, full gas. Come on, you can do this. Let's just savor the quality of this achievement. He's got to fight all the way to the line and up to the top of Mount Ackman for Jonathan Caicedo. And it's just a few meters from the three. We'll turn to the lead. He gets the victory on stage three of Giro d'Italia.
I think the perception of the team has changed a lot in the last 10 days. I think when we, you know, revealed our kid and, and everyone kind of saw it, and honestly, some teams probably wrote us off in that moment, thinking, you know what, they, they've got to make a statement somehow because, you know, maybe they don't think we can do anything in the race. But uh, <laughs> I think we, uh, we squashed that really quickly, which is a truly special feeling. What people don't realize is that, you know, he's been over here without his family. They're back in Ecuador. He's been here by himself, just training and getting himself ready, which is like, it's a big commitment, you know? Um, it's a long way from home. To see it pay off like that, um, I couldn't be happier. Yeah, it's just different. I don't know. When I was a rider, I was like, whenever someone else was winning, I was like, yeah, what the f It's not me. You know, and now someone else, like when a rider wins from our team, I was like, I was crying all the time. <laughs> I, like, I didn't know I had it, I had it in me. I think they've, they've done a, a very good job, Alice and Rafa. I think they've got their, their money's worth, although they were fined in the, in the first stage. Uh, for wearing the jersey. To be brutally honest, there's nothing to get me into cycling when I was a, a young kid. It felt like the most boring thing in the world. It needs to be made more appealing to everybody. I was almost in tears when I saw Jonathan winning that stage and the way he did it. It, it gave us so much more confidence. Everyone, like staff, me and Fabricio, and especially the riders as well. When you see, can see it's possible, you know, you know these guys, and then you see them win a stage, the Giro, and you know it's possible it just creates this atmosphere of like, let's win, you know? I want to win. <laughs> I want a bit of that. I'm sorry, they go full gas, they're not going to wait for you. The time gap is too much. It's game over, mate. So uh, just relax, and uh, we try again. Listen, we come back strong, okay? I can see now how close it is. Put yourself in the right position. We have an amazing team here. You come with the right form, you find the right group, and uh, you can have that opportunity to, to live the dream. And, uh, and to see that this year is super important for next year. See what I'm not doing next year, lad. Riding to be better. When it's like freezing, and you got 60k to go, and you're in the Gruppetto, and there's like a million other things you'd want to do. You know, like if it was just purely for enjoyment, you would just stop. Like all the riders know the suffering is part of the sport, and even the fans that are on the side, they know how much it hurts. But I'm loving every minute of it. I'm still somehow smiling. It's lucky I'm bored this way, it's like I'm in the right job. I'm enjoying it. It's really inspiring to ride with guys like, uh like Clarkie and Lawson have so much experience and it's funny to say like after being professional for such a long time but I feel like I'm learning a lot. Come on Simon, come on! To become a professional cyclist in the first place you have to be a phenomenal bike rider. There's no way a team will sign you right, if you haven't yeah. proven yourself. You Jimmy you Whelan for example he won under 23 Flanders like Okay, in the pros, he's now started from square one, but he already proved that he is a talented bike rider. There's talent in this group. If we're united, we can be much stronger than a more talented team that isn't united. If you can pass on your experience, which is the one thing that they're lacking, and put that together with their talent, which they've already proven, you can raise that bar very quickly. You know, there's a treasure chest of talent here and if they're guided in the right way, we can be competitive with the best teams in the world. I don't think I've had as much fun racing um, a World Tour race maybe ever. But it's only day five, so if you can just steady on there, mate. Just cool your, cool your jets, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of racing to go. I don't even know what a regular work day looks like, <laughs> is the thing. I, didn't, I don't need this anymore. It's not like I have to do this 
for any other reason other than I want to. And it allows you to like smile in the race when it's like just a cool experience. It's a huge um, buzz. It is a totally unique experience. Well, I finished the stage and yeah, the doc was like, we should go get an x-ray and yeah, then it was broken. Yeah, like I've done, you know, months and months of training through the lockdown, like a lot of people get a weekend and crash out. Just, yeah, it's a huge bummer. For sure, I will do the first climb full gas. For sure, it's written on the communication of the RSS. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be cold. It ran again. Julian. Oh, told you. Comprende? Let's go. My passion start really early. When I was watching Tour de France, I remember to go to the school. I was talking about Tour de France with my friends and. I already started mountain bike seven years old. It's been like months and months of waiting. Finally, we get some races. I was the best. All right, here we go again. Ruben, you were good today. Yeah, you can do this. The mighty ducks could well come up with another one. The last corner is just before the finish line. You need to be first in the last corner. Carrero has the strength to get up and around the outside of Castro Viejo. It's so slow. It's so agonizing. It's so painful. He's there. He's done it. Victory for EF Pro Cycling. <laughs> <laughs> so that story was really true. Mati Bahashel, or director, come to me. Listen, Sunday is a nice stage. You need to meet the queen. You know what? Last night I put the, when I set the alarm, 7.40, let's meet the queen. <laughs> <laughs> And then on uh, Saturday night, I wrote in uh, the title of the alarm was Let's Meet the Queen. So. <laughs> Thank you so much. He got this phone call, the number he didn't recognize and uh, he thought it was a journalist so he didn't pick up the phone kept ringing but he, he, he never replied or anything the day after he found out that it was the portuguese president <laughs> i think after the giro they're gonna meet he's very excited hey big boss Obviously there's a round of COVID testing that goes on in the rest days as part of the um, procedure and there was quite a few positives. We lost Mitchelton Scott pulled out, uh, a lot of Jumbo pulled out and then there were a few other riders who tested positive and obviously didn't take to the start um, and we also lost Lawson um, 
He's in a tough situation with, he's got a baby due um, within the next couple of weeks. And his family, um, or his wife and child are in the US. So it's a tough situation because uh, he could end up quarantined in, in Italy and miss the birth of his child, which obviously comes before bike racing. Hey, I was eating. I think we're filming in the world tour is to be able to perform at a level where it's fun. It's so, it's so it's not so hard that you can actually enjoy it. Um, there's not many guys who get there. But there are guys who get there. When you see it, you're like, yeah, that does look fun. My legs didn't want to keep up with the other guys. Yeah. That was my main problem. Yeah. And then I just suffered all day long. Um, but then I had a 5k to go to Ruben one, so... Sick. <laughs> but... Yeah, man. It was a rough day. So when you have those ideas like floating around in your head, yeah, like you get like 60Ks into a stage and you're in trouble and it's a 200K day. And it does kind of boil down to like, do I do this for a few more years? Do I want to do this for a few more years? Why do I want to do it? Is it like an ego thing? Like that I just want to say, be able to say like, oh, I race against the best guys in the world. Or am I actually getting something out of it? Is it like money? What I didn't realize was, was really amplifying um, the situation I was in is my seat was loose and I ride with my seat like more or less all the way forward and it was loose. I was just slowly going back and back and back and back and back and back. I was like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> but my seat was, yeah, like by the end probably seven centimeters too far back. Imagine if I stopped and decided to retire and then looked at my bike and was like, wait. <laughs> let's, let's see, my seat's all the way back. Like, did I just accidentally retire? Ah, good to hear, man, thanks. All right, ciao, ciao, ciao. We won the jersey. We have one. He really wanted to get that jersey back when, when he lost it. He had one bad day, uh, he lost the jersey, but he really managed that well. Uh, being in the right breakaways, some breakaways he missed, but the team stepped, stepped up and, uh, and they really, really helped him. So without the team, he wouldn't have won the jersey. I'm absolutely sure of that. There is obviously like a huge amount of uncertainty in like just the world in general. Professional cycling relies on events being able to take place to exist. I don't really thrive in the structure of it anyway. So like, even if there's no events, I'm gonna find things to, to do on my bike <laughs> and it'll be fun. It's uncertain, but there's always like, some, some degree of like excitement and un uncertainty, <laughs> you know? Like it's cause it's different just got to make the most of it. <laughs>